He is known for his Hollywood career in the silent film era, where he portrayed romantic leads and capitalized on his handsome Latin-like features. He is recognized for his ability to transition into character acting, often playing heavies with his strong delivery and New York accent. His name is Ricardo Cortez. In the early days of Hollywood, a young actor named Ricardo Cortez emerged onto the scene. Originally named Krantz, Hollywood executives saw an opportunity to capitalize on his handsome looks and the popularity of the Latin lovers of the silent film era. They changed his name to Cortez, hoping to pass him off as a Latin heartthrob like Rudolf Valentino and Ramon Novaro. Cortez quickly rose to fame, appearing in over 100 films. He started off playing romantic leads, but when sound cinema arrived, his strong delivery and New York accent made him perfect for playing the villainous roles. While he mainly focused on character acting, he occasionally had the chance to play leading men. He even had the honor of being the first actor to portray Sam Spade in the original pre-code version of The Maltese Falcon. One of his notable roles was opposite Joan Crawford in Montana Moon, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He also had the opportunity to work with legendary performers such as Charles Farrell, Betty Davis, Al Jolson, and Dolores Del Rio in films like The Big Shakedown and Wonder Bar. In 1936, Cortez took over the role of Perry Mason from Warren William in The Case of the Black Cat, further solidifying his place in Hollywood. Ricardo Cortez, known for his captivating performances on the silver screen, had a personal life that often piqued the curiosity of the public. One aspect that people were most concerned about was his romantic endeavors. In 1926, he tied the knot with the beautiful silent film actress Alma Rubens. However, their first attempt at marriage was deemed invalid due to Rubens's ongoing divorce proceedings. Nonetheless, they persevered and exchanged vows again on February 8. Their love story appeared to be filled with promise, but unfortunately, it was not meant to last. Four years later, in 1930, Cortez and Rubens decided to part ways, leading to a separation that left fans questioning what went wrong. The situation took a tragic turn when Rubens, battling with pneumonia, passed away on January 21, 1931. The news of her untimely death shook Cortez and left him grieving for the loss of his former partner. Despite the heartbreak he experienced, Cortez eventually found love once again. In 1934, he walked down the aisle with Christine Conniff Lee, hoping that this union would bring him lasting happiness. However, the couple faced their own set of challenges, and their marriage ended in divorce just six years later, in 1940. After bidding farewell to his illustrious career in the film industry during the late 1950s, Cortez embarked on a new chapter of his life. He found himself in the bustling city of New York, where he took on the role of a stockbroker for Salomon Brothers on Wall Street. Although a far cry from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, this career change showcased Cortez's versatility and adaptability, proving that he was capable of thriving in different fields. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.